All right, now we're going to add some text to the project and make some formatting changes to it. So let's select the type tool. First, let's select and then deselect everything. So select the type tool and click in this large rectangle that has your gradient tool in it. And in all caps, type art. supplies and yes it is very tiny it's hard to read against that gradient select the selection tool and that selects our object click in the fill color box up here and I'm going to select this orange to apply the orange color in the character sections you see right here our text size is 12 click on it and type 73 and press enter or return in the same section of the properties panel here's our tracking let's click here and let's change this to 30 and you see that that spread the let letters apart a little bit so tracking is how you can adjust spacing between characters which you should all know so you can create some great design effects by warping text into different shapes using envelopes you can make an envelope out of an object on your artboard, or you can use a preset warp shape or a mesh grid as an envelope. With the selection tool selected and the text still selected, copy and paste by choosing Edit, and then Copy, and then Edit, and then Paste. So drag the two text boxes so they're still within the bounds of the rectangle and stacked on one on top of the other. So I'm going to drag this one over here. Drag this one. Select the type tool. And then move the pointer over the top text and triple click it. And that selects the whole word. And we're going to type crafty. Crafty. Select the selection tool. So crafty is now selected. Change the font size to 190. Oops. It's ginormous now. Now we're going to choose Object and then Envelope Distort down here and then Make with Warp and that's going to open the Warp Options dialog box. The style is Arch, not it's R on R ARC right now, change this to ARCH. We want the bend to be 20%. Click OK. The text is now in a shape, but it's still editable. With the selection tool still selected, drag the curve text and the art supplies text until you see something that looks like this. So let's drag this down here and then drag the art supplies over to where it's under there. Get it like you like it, but it should look something like this. Don't worry about having it centered. We're going to do that later. So choose select and then deselect. Now we're going to do some effects. Effects alter the appearance of an object without changing the base object. Next, we're going to apply an effect to a sale sticker that we're going to make. So go over here to your rectangle tool, press and hold that, and select the ellipse tool. Over the top of the banner rank rectangle, hold down your shift key, and we're going to drag and we're going to make a circle. Like thus. Click the fill color, and we're going to choose a color. I'm going to choose that. 
I want that color. Just choose a different color, something that's going to stand out. In the Properties panel, click the Choose an Effect button. This FX, Choose an Effect, click that. And go to Distort and Transform. Distort. Oh, excuse me, distort and transform. And then zigzag. That's a fun word to say, zigzag. It's going to open up this little dialog box. And size, let's make it 9. Oop, not 99. Select absolute right here if it's not already. Ridges per segment, let's make this 9. You can click and you can drag that or you can type 9. Points, we want it to be a corner. And then click OK. Look at there. We got a little sticker. So now for a little practice. We're going to try adding some text on top of that circle. You'll apply formatting we've already learned and a few more options. So here's how we're going to do that. Select our Type tool. And click to add some text. Ooh, that's ginormous. To replace the text, type 30%. Press return or enter and then type off. We're giving them a discount. Select the selection tool. Set the following options over here. We're going to change the fill color to white. Change the font size to 60. Change the letting to the letting is what goes up and down. We're going to it's we're going to change that to uh, fifty. That changes the the distance between the lines of text. In the paragraph section of the properties panel, below the formatting options we just set, we want to align center. You can see if you if you hover over them, there's your align center. And then drag the text so it's approximately centered on your circle. Look at there. If your circle's too small, if you press the shift key and drag a corner, it'll make it larger. So let's say if I wanted to do that, I can hold down the shift key and make my circle a little larger if I wanted to. And then I would just need to move my text. <coughs> Excuse me. So shift click the blue circle and select the text. Click the group in the quick action sections and that keeps those together as a group. So if I try and move that around now, it's going to stay together. So Illustrator makes it easy to align or distribute multiple objects relative to each other, the artboard or a key object. In this section, we're going to move artwork into position and align some of it to the center of the artboard. So with the selection tool selected, click to select the group of markers. To select more content, press the shift key and click the banner rectangle. So hold down the shift key. Click the banner rectangle. The crafty text. The art supplies text. So now let's click the Align to Selection menu, which is this right here. I know it's going to surprise you when I tell you my mouse is glitching again. And then we want to Align to Artboard. And then let's, so now any content we apply in alignment will allow to the, align to the edge of the artboard. So click this Align 
horizontal align center and that's going to center your artwork to the center of the artboard mine didn't move much it was already so then if necessary drag the marker scribble so I clicked away so then just drag this over to where it's approximately right there and let's click file and then save and this completes our first lesson so you're going to submit to me oh I, I know what I was going to do I thought I was going to work on this I'm going to move that to where it's mine was kind of weird I'm just going to move that right there so so click file and then save and then, then you will submit to me